here on RC in Motion and we're back again with the uh, build of the Trail Finder 2 1 tenth scale 4x4 truck kit from RC four wheel drive okay so we left off on uh, step 21 you guys can see it here okay and step 21 pretty much asked us to um, attach the uh, leaf springs okay you guys can see I showed you guys that um, I had purchased the Super Soft Flex uh, leaf springs from RC Four Wheel Drive, and they look something like this. So it asked us for the M3 six millimeter button heads uh, to attach them to the axles. So let's go ahead and show you. I already pre-installed these. This is what you're looking at, of course. Metal. Let me show you guys. It's metal against metal of course your screws you want to use your blue thread locker okay you want to use your blue thread locker and pretty much sit them in there okay so uh, they don't have an orientation or a position whether these are the front or the these are the back um, it says nothing to it they're pretty much the same exact size okay so a couple tips here okay one um, th this is pretty much the uh, stock uh, axle right and if you want to upgrade you can feel free to upgrade the axles uh, but I wanted to leave it as scale as possible so I just left the uh, stock axles okay uh, I took apart this entire area here okay as you can see it has about um, I'd say 10 screws yeah, so pretty much 10 screws around, little mil like 1.5 or 1 millimeter, I think it's 1.5, 1.5 millimeter screws. So those come out of there and you have your, uh, your gears inside. So let me go ahead and show you. Pretty much 1.5 millimeter. You're left with pretty much something like this, okay, and you have uh, your gears, of course, and your output shaft with the gear right here okay and then you have your pretty much your your drive shaft gear as you guys can see there's somewhat of stock grease in there and it that's fine and dandy but like I said it's always better to just give it a little bit of grease and make sure you don't burn out these gears so let's go ahead and of course like I said in the previous videos I use the super tech boat and trailer marine grease and we're just gonna take a little dab and spin the gears as you see what I'm doing here as you spin it the gears will actually just pick up the grease okay so you put some grease in there let's put a decent amount And, it, and this grease is actually good for when you want to waterproof your bearings on the sides. You can take out this uh, hex here and just waterproof inside so that way dirt and water doesn't get in here. This grease is perfect for that. Uh, that's an option if you're running your kit through water, which I won't be doing. So um, this is just going to be uh, stock setup, I believe. If you want to call it like that so here goes the inside let's wipe off that excess and now we can go ahead and install it uh, this bearing as well if you were to waterproof it as well just uh, take out this little e-clip and this entire setup just comes straight out with that cover back on everything should line up perfectly let's go ahead and install the, uh, the screws you guys can see I'm spinning it and it feels better than the stock setup. I already uh, went ahead and did this one. And this one seems pretty good as well. So let's go ahead and close this one up.
we have it um, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off that excess grease and the tip here um, these screws uh, there's a lot of people that thread lock them with some blue thread locker um, I don't recommend it because they're so small and if the thread locker locks that uh, that bolt into there or that screw is going to be real tough to take out and you're just going to have to get a new axle if you break this gear or whatnot. So I, I just normally just tighten them down like I showed you guys in the uh, in the like the star pattern one side then the other and just tighten them down as much as you can don't over tighten them um, if you're using power tools make sure they're on the lower settings and uh, if you want to uh, lock tight them go ahead if that's your preference I've seen people lock tight them but I, I don't lock tight anything that has to do with moving gears or uh, axles so that's just my preference now when it comes to um, closing down the axle these yes I'll lock tight them because you don't want this coming apart as you're driving because of the vibration so you guys could hear now it sounds better now this is a quick tip for the front and uh, I'm gonna do this off camera but I'm gonna just take apart one side and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about okay so let's go ahead and hold this this uh, output shaft and let's take out one side I'm going to show you guys a tip here um, and the problem with these trail finder axles stock axles at least okay so take out the hex and there's this little pin there take this out okay and then this whole setup is going to come out but once you take out these uh, 2.5 2.0 hex button head screws okay okay and once they unscrew this is gonna pop out let me show you guys here okay there you go this is just gonna pop out like that okay and you see it has like a uh, kind of like a dog bone set up here okay let me see if you guys can see it there is it focusing focus there you go it's like a dog bone set up okay and and the reason it's set up that way show you guys there you go is because at the end of here it has that little dog bone pin there's a ball and a pin so there's a lot of uh, complaints about this pin itself let me see if I could show you guys okay um, a lot of people are saying that um, or a lot not saying but they're posting videos on the internet and it's because this is spinning at a high rated speed okay it's wearing off this pin okay this pin is wearing off and you have to buy the upgrade where it's like, like a CVD pretty much so it's better and not as bad as this setup but what I recommend if you want to stick to this and you don't have the money to upgrade to a CVD okay you just take your grease and you just dab it in there okay and now this will provide at least somewhat of a cushion inside here and it won't rub as much now you have the grease burning out in a way Let's see focus 
doesn't want to focus there we go okay so you have a good amount of grease and that's gonna prevent the heat friction from metal to metal so now you got grease in there and that's gonna take care of that friction so we can go ahead and put these back on there okay and you want to make sure your orientation is still the same of course okay and just tighten those screws back in you gotta make sure we find it find that hole there we go now the other side So once you put in your uh, two um, bolts, pretty much, just put on that pin, that hex, then you can go ahead and uh, put on your nut. Okay, so now that we have one side done, we can go ahead and move on to the opposite side, and I'll come back to you guys.